Hi, my name is Martha Engole and I'm the uh, head of program for WFP in Jongle and the GPAA. Um, I would say some of the key challenges that the people in South Sudan, specifically in Jongle and the GPA are facing, is the subnational violence that has taken a new form and specifically um, <clears throat> targeted among its age sites, um, different age sites from the different communities in the GPA and Jongle. Um, because of the because of the insecurity, a lot of the communities are forced to leave their original places of abode um, across the different places in Jongle and are forced to um, camp up in different locations. As a result, they're not able to grow their own food, they're not able to farm in their own farmlands, they're not able to look after their children. This food security situation goes, goes higher and higher. Secondly, most of these communities don't have access to farmland and even in the lean season, during the, the, the rainy season, they're not able to plant any crops, um, grow any, even the most basic crops like, um, like um, vegetables, not able to grow these kind of crops. And so this also contributes highly to the food insecurity levels because of this migration from different locations as well as um, the, the failure to have land to grow their crops on. I would like to see a situation where the people in South Sudan and specifically in Jongle are able to coexist peacefully. They're able to return from where they come from. They're able to actually farm and they're able to coexist irrespective of the different um, tribal groups that they come from. Um, Jongle, like some of the few states in South Sudan um, has the River Nile that crosses through it. And um, coupled with that, we also have a large portion of jungle that is on the lower plains. And so this affects it in so many ways to the extent that a lot of each time there is heavy rainfall or any climatic changes in different locations like Ethiopia, bordering countries like Ethiopia and Uganda, much of this water is concentrated in the jungle in the jungle region. And, the, and what happens is because of the concentration of this water, then most of the communities are forced to evacuate from these locations they become more and more food insecure their nutritional needs also go very high and that's why we see a lot of figures from the Jongle from the Jongle state um, having very high malnutrition rates as well as severely malnutrition malnourished children and women in this in this place um, I think we need to have um, integrated programming, specifically looking at the humanitarian aspect as one thing. Um, we also look at programming that looks into peace building, as well as programming that looks into development, because a combination of these three helps us to bring a better platform, as well as a stronger way of addressing most of the issues that are happening in Jonglei.